soft, sad fucking music to this game. Dun, 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 dun. What is going on, guys? So it is Adam or Fate. Um, bringing you a little Black Ops 2 gameplay today. I've lev obviously never really played this game. I'm a level fucking 21, but I decided I wanted to get some gun game in because I like the I like the little mini games and everything that Black Ops always brings. So let's see if we can hop in that game in here. It is currently like fucking five. 5.13 in the morning. I don't think you can see that, but it is pretty damn late. Um, I have my flight in a couple hours. I have to, I have to actually leave like at 3 o'clock, so I have less than like 12 hours, but I haven't even, I haven't even slept or anything, so we'll see. This might be an all-nighter, but I gotta do it for the, gotta do it for the YouTube. I gotta do it for the faint force, you know? Fuck it. I don't even feel that tired, that much tired. I'm over here like, Nah, I feel good. So like I said, I haven't played this game too much. I, I remember playing it when it first came out, but I didn't own it or anything like that. So I don't know. I just, it never really piqued my interest. But let's get into this shit right now. How are you guys feeling today, though? Let me know how you guys are feeling, man. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, let's just let's just chill out, play a little Black Ops 2. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Really? Really, it's rushing to reload. I don't know if you guys watched E3 in the last couple days, but there was a couple things that piqued my interest. Um, the thing that the thing that looked pretty dope was the Xbox One with the no power cord anymore. I think that's pretty sick that that it's just like integrated in one. But I feel like there might be some problems with the batteries along the line, like down the line. Um, but that that looked pretty sweet. How it was like smaller and everything too. That was definitely that was definitely cool. But one thing I was a little disappointed with was um, Resident Evil Seven, because I was expecting like they said they were gonna take it back, all this blah blah blah, and I wasn't expecting it to just be like straight up VR, because it looked like it was just total VR. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna be the way it is only, or if they're gonna switch it as well and allow you to like also play third person or not but yeah it looked it looked kind of fucked up in the in the vr setting i was not a fan of it because it just looked like a, a regular horror game but e3 i mean it didn't really seem like it had too many things that were like super crazy i know playstation one thing one thing that seemed uh pretty dope to me was kratos fucking come back another god of war i was like oh fuck yeah when they showed that uh, trailer, just open up. I was like, "Oh my god, that is so sick!" They also they also said they were coming out the new Zelda. That was pretty sick. Damn. Okay. Okay. First game. First game. Not bad. Even though we had the same amount of kills. All right, let's make sure we get this W on this one right here. Let's get this shit cracking. No more fucking around. Go around the rosy. Look who fucking wins. Oh! What? Yeah, what else did you guys see? I think I also saw that they're making Crash Bandicoot remastered. So I was I was asking for that. I'm really I'm really uh psyched for that. Especially if I end up getting a PS4 eventually. That'd be sick to play again. Remastered, dude, that'd be so fucking tight. Oh my a shoddy gets outplayed by a fucking flare gun or whatever the fuck that is? Jesus. Let me know what, else, what you guys saw from there that you uh, are interested to get and whatnot. I know there's a bunch of other fucking things that I saw. I just can't think of them. Right now. Oh my goodness! You know how it is when you're playing a game. You're just in the fucking zone. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't be doing too much. Oh! You see that triple spray? Oh my god! And you see that fail spray? I made up for that. Jeez, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? We're down two. We're down two. Let's go. No, but there's not too many next-gen games that I'm super psyched for. I also, actually, now that I think about it, I saw the trailer for Dead Rising 4. That kind of looks sick, just because I've been a fan of Dead Rising from the beginning. But... I mean, that alone is just like some crazy open world shit now. I mean, it's just, I don't know, there's not too many next-gen games that have my, have my interest. 
It's not like before when, when games would come out and everyone would be super fucking psyched for them. Uh, there hasn't been too many. I mean, Battlefield 1 looks really good. That's probably one game that's like, I'm really excited to like to get to play and whatnot. It looks pretty sick. It reminds me of COD 2. Ooh, you see that fucking quickscope? Reminds me of COD 2 on steroids. Like, just HD and Battlefield style. It looks sick. Oh my gosh. Don't give me these guns, man. You guys can't handle it. Don't do it to them. Stop me. But, I'm a big, I'm a fan of Battlefield, so... For them to go back in time and shit like that, it'll be sick. How was that a hit marker? Explain to me. We need to get this W, because I need to go to fucking bed. It is goddamn almost six in the morning right now. I have to go on the. I have to go still stream in uh, three hours. I'm gonna be on, so I'm gonna take a little nap ski. I guess it's a little nap. I'm like in a full rest, and then uh, I'm gonna be streaming in a couple hours. So we'll see. It's gonna be fucking insane. Boom! Hope you guys enjoy that fucking quick little gameplay of some some randomness gun game. Um, let me know what you guys think about E3, and let me know how you guys are feeling. I this is just some some little gameplay to get you guys by while I'm away in Vegas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Let me know how you guys are feeling, and peace out.